When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. <laughs> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah, Quadash. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, and such of us doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to get to the topic, you know, right after this, of course. But, I, you know, if you really want to have clean air and water, etc., how about stop destroying the fucking earth? How about stop allowing factories to dump their waste into the fucking clean water that was there? How about stop the production of this non-biodegradable, basically plastic, and, and making plastic islands? All right? Yeah, there's so much plastic in the ocean. You know, you have these different, like, pockets where... The plastic f fuses together, you know, melts together, whatever, it's heat, whatever, have it works out. They form this pla these plastic islands. That's what they call them. How about stop the production of aluminum the way you do it and producing fucking the poisonous version of fluoride? And I say it like that because there is a natural current fluoride. And Esau's such a devil, he tells you, yeah, you're allowed to have such and such amount of fluoride and be safe. But he's talking about the naturally occurring fluoride, not this aluminum byproduct. Okay? How about stop producing different shit in these factories that's, that's, caught, that's making all these fucking chemicals in the air? Hmm? Stop digging for all this damn oil. You can't say it's for heating and cars, etc. Because there's other sources for this shit, man. You don't have to, as they put, uh, uh, cut the population down. The population is the problem. This just shows this man is the devil. And Kamala Harris is all for it. Kamala Harris is all for the 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 depopul the depopulation, the murder of billions of people. All right. Damn, what was the name of the stones in Georgia? Fuck, it's been so long since I mentioned it because it got knocked down a few years back. Hmm, Georgia guy stones. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia guy stones <laughs> and it tells you to, to basically get rid of what 60% of the population some high ass percentage just billions this just shows this man who we're dealing with is the devil and all the elites have the same mindset and it's the mindset of the wicked hey this is um Isaiah it says woes for the wicked Isaiah 5 and 8 Woe to them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. This is what they want. They want to be alone here. They don't care about the rest of the citizens. All right? They don't care about the poor, the afflicted, the needy. They want the elites and a few people left that can be their servants. They want the world for themselves, man. And they're all about death. They don't even care about the planet. They, they'll, give a fuck. they'll use this stuff and let it be destroyed because they won't be here anymore. That's why they kept producing all the bullshit. It'll, it'll come up and they'll say, you know, that's a problem for our children's children to worry about. They don't care about the planet existing. 
50 years from now, they plan on being dead. So they want to use it up. If it comes down to it, if it needs to be a cleanse, and they'll kill every goddamn body, except a few that'll be to serve them. All right? This man is as death. Literally, this is Habakkuk 2. And 5, yeah, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. That wine represents his doctrine. Neither keep it at home who enlarges his desire as hell. He's a greedy man. All right. And is as death and cannot be satisfied. So he wants control over all things, man. And not only is he as death in, in the grave, hell, in the sense of can't be satisfied. He is literally as death. This man loves death. He is all about death. That's why they jab you up as soon as you come out the womb. Giving you chemicals every fucking day. Spraying us. But gather unto him all nations. He with him all people, man. This is who we're dealing with. So they can be left alone in the earth. Meanwhile, he's destroying the earth. We got to get rid of the population. But you're destroying the whole fucking planet, man. Deforestation, which is just what, just what the word sounds like. They go and chop down fucking forests. They're creating pollution and then going to get rid of the fucking trees that cleans it. The Wadi, how about Shami, how about having such a perfect system? They can't really destroy it all, but if they was left long enough, they they would damn sure they would do it. Actually, not just try, they would do it, man. They would do it, man. All right. Just just, just taking every fucking resource the earth has and destroying it. This man is the devil. I mean, this wisdom of Solomon 2 is not even going to be a long lesson. But you see, everybody talking about come out, these, these niggas, you know, of course, we know not to vote for any side. But they up here hyping up this damn, hyping up Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, she's talking about killing them. The population, man. This wisdom of Solomon 2. And I um, started at one and jumped down. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves. This is on the start, so you can know who thoughts these are. This is the thoughts of the wicked, the ungodly, but not a right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the depth of man there is no, no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Right? So let's jump down. Um, let's start at five. Our time is a very shadow that passes away. And after our end, there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. And creatures mean anything created. All right, not just the animal or a beast. No, anything created. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments, and let no flower of the spring pass by us. And that's what they're doing, using the earth resources, man. Just going through it for no need. <laughs> Just chopping trees to chop the trees. They chopped some trees. We was in Atlanta, they was chopping the trees and shit. That's to burn them. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. For this is our portion, and our lot is this. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the aged. They are purposely just against what's right. All right? They are for death. That's why they push sodomy so heavy. Everything this place pushes is wickedness, is death. 
They push whoredoms. All right? Everything's about living to the flesh. Murder. (laughs) Scandals. Just wickedness. Let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. And that's their mindset. They want to get rid of the feeble. They're useless. Let's bring an automation. And and depopulate. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doings. He abraded us with our offending the law and ejected to our infamy the transgressions of our education. And um, that, that was really the point of that, right? Uh, it was the, um, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. This is what they want. To chip those who will follow him, kill off those who will not take the chip. Which, which would bring depopulation just off of that alone because there's plenty that don't want it, all right? And be left here with a, a, a fractured earth, which they're fracturing themselves. They're destroying it themselves, man. All this damn bullshit they making, producing. And then the bullshit is cheaper. How was it that this manufactured food is cheaper than something natural. It's because they are about death. Processed shit is cheaper than buying something whole. Which they made chemically, man. This is crazy. Let's jump down though. Um, 23, for the most high created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world and they do hold of his side, do find it. And we know according to Revelation 12, all right, when it talks about that, the devil, the old serpent, it's talking about a man, which that man after the flood is called Esau. That's the nation before the flood. It was Cain, but before Cain, it was the serpent. That lion came in through Adam to Cain. All right. Um, But yeah, you read the Revelation 12, it's talking about Rome, and it calls him Satan, the old serpent. But I want to grab this. It will end on this. I think it's Revelation 11. Yeah, Revelation eleven eighteen, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So this man is put, you know, Satan made himself as an angel of light. Yeah, we want the clean air, clean it, mean, to stop destroying it. All right, then stop destroying it. This man is simply about death. And the Lord is coming to judge these people, man. They won't complete their plan. All right. Kamala Harris. Hope is edifying. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shah, Bahasham, Hakodash. Double honor to the apostles, Great Millstone. And such a person doing thing in sincerity and truth, Ever Chetty. Shalom, Baba, Baba.